lovelies. Um, so I'm excited today. I'm finally doing something that I've been wanting to do basically since I came here. But first, I have to do some responsible things like laundry. Buddy cat. Hi, Did some shopping. This is a very serious mission, so coffee, obviously. A wicked lunch is absolutely essential for today. Now, I'm sure you're wondering just what it is that I'm doing today. In case you haven't figured it out yet, I'm finally dyeing my hair again. Oh my gosh, it needs it so bad. But um, usually what I would do is dye it at night and then sleep on it, wake up in the morning and wash it out. But that's a very white bed and I would really hate to get any dye on it. So um, I'm actually just gonna dye it today and leave it in today. Take up my entire Saturday, but what can you do? Okay, before I start, I wanna thank um, Dave. Thanks for the shirt, Dave. He left it behind and he didn't know I was gonna use it for this, but super useful. And then Letha from the front desk. I told her I needed to go buy some tin foil and she made it her personal mission to go get me some tin foil for free from the kitchen. And it was, sounds easy, but it was a lot harder than you think. So thank you, Lisa. So let's get to it. Okay, so finally, it's like 11.30 and I could finally start. This is gonna be an all day thing. Um, so I watched a ton of YouTube videos before I dyed my hair the first time and actually like, I did do my hair the first time and the first time I did it, I used four colors. So I wanted like a peacock effect. But then I found out that I could use two colors and get essentially the same effect. So now I just use, um, wow. <laughs> now I just use these two and they're relatively small so I can travel with them. They're less than three ounces. This one's hot pink. This one is pastel agua and they're from argon oil. Um, I was told to use the Argon Oil as a pair compared to the, I think Color Maniac is the one that, or Color Manic or something like that. Um, that's what a lot of people suggested, but when I went to the hair salon, they said this because this doesn't leak. I've never had it leak on my clothes, I've never had it leak um, on my pillowcases, anything like that, which is super important, especially when I'm traveling from place to place. So. Without any further ado, I'm going to spend the next hour coloring my hair. <laughs> I was gonna mention that one of the, the biggest tips that I got online and via uh, the hair salon was that you can rubber band off parts of your hair, but the trick is to not make them level. You actually want to stagger them a little bit. It's gonna help with the blending. A lot of people try to do it really straight, and they try to make it exactly straight, and it looks really bad. But I wasn't, I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> and I got it all over my arm. This looks like a terrible bruise. Not too bad on this arm. A little bit on my legs, but that's, that's to be expected. <laughs> so then what I like to do is take the shirt that I was wearing and turn it inside out and then use it as the turban to like keep it away from everything. That's such a good fashion statement, don't you think? Okay, so I just want you guys to know how happy I am right now because I've got myself a cheeseburger, but cheeseburgers here are a little bit weird. Instead of using pickles, they use cucumbers. I don't know if that's like a mistranslation or if it's just a culture thing, but check this out. You've got the melted cheese, cucumbers, tomato, onion, the works, although I forgot to ask for ketchup. So that's my fault. No ketchup, but that's my bad. Yes. 
super excited. One of the things I like to do when I eat is watch other travel vloggers for ideas and inspiration and this is fun for Louis and he, he, what he has to say I think you guys just need to hear it. So um, I also link him. You can check out his channel right here. Boom. I had no idea when I was most of your guys' ages, um, leaving school, some of you leaving university, or wherever you are, um, I had no idea that I'd be doing this now. And I feel like that is often the case. You don't, you can't predict the future. You can see the things you're passionate about, maybe potential routes you go, but you just often have no idea. Opportunities come out of nowhere. Don't panic if you don't have your life planned out. I didn't know what I'd be doing, and I still feel like that and sometimes I don't know what I'm going to be doing next year. Uh, and then that moves on to you wishing you had my life. If you're wishing for something and it doesn't need to be travel, it could be anything that you really want in your life. Make it a priority, set goals and don't make excuses for it not to happen. It might not happen overnight, it might not be easy, but if you really want something, honestly that's a very powerful thing. If you really want it, you can make Pretty much anything happened in your life. Seriously could not have said it better, Louie. That's just exactly um, the passion that I have for travel and I think that a lot of people who watch this blog also have that and I just wanted to share that with you guys because I think that his words are so true and fantastic. One of the perks of looking like this today is the fact that I probably am not really going to leave my room much until I can um, take this all out. And so I'm working on all of those things that I said that I would do that I haven't done and they're getting done today, including writing my first e-course on a little site called Udemy, which you can't really tell right now, but this is, this is it, Udemy. And this course um, will be about analyzing your Facebook insights and how to use them. Um, and it will be available shortly. I want to say by the end of this week. Oh, but when it is available, I will be sure to link it right here and down below so you can find it easily. If you don't see anything yet, it's not up yet. I'm so fed up with the slowness of this internet that I'm actually quite lazy now. And whenever I want to do anything, I just lay back here and I just actually use my toe. So I, I'm probably just severely out of the loop because trends just don't get to Thailand as quickly as they do in America. But what is up with this cucumber and cat thing? Can someone tell me where it started? Because this is just ridiculous. And I just happen to have a cucumber in my fridge that's basically bad so I'm not going to eat it. And sometimes there's a cat that hangs out here by my room. So if he comes out tonight, I'm gonna have to see if Thailand cats are any smarter than American cats. I'm not sure if they are or not, but if he doesn't come out, well then we won't see, which is sad. Um, because I'm moving tomorrow! Yeah, so now I gotta pack up my bag. I've um, been working on the e-course. It's coming along great. It should be eh, a couple days or whatever until it's ready. Um, but right now, I have to pack up all this junk and some junk in here and some junk in here and even some junk in here. So, I got a lot of junk and I've got one bag, my Tortuga, and I got to get it all in there. Actually, I probably get like most of it in there and then put the rest in like this like flute backpack that I have because I'm just moving to a different place. I'm not taking a flight. So, fun day! Finally! It's like 8 o'clock at night and I finally get to take these things out. My biggest concern is that they might stain the sink, but they don't stain the stuff at home that I've washed it out in. So, I'm really Fingers crossed, nothing happens. Yay! It's wet, so you can't can't really see it, but ta-da! Rainbow. Okay, let's go see if that cat's up there. 
I don't think he is though. I guess that means that Thai cats are smarter than American cats because he saw this coming. As you can see, I clearly have not packed. <laughs> Fail. But my hair turned out great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. So I'm pretty happy with it. Ah, wrong way. Wrong way. Anyway, so I'm happy with it, and now it's Saturday night. I'm gonna go meet a friend, have some fun, but I'm not taking you with me because I'm sorry. I seriously need a break from all electronics. Anyway, this is it for me, guys. So just remember you are truly awesome, and peace out. Good night. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm moving. Ah! Today's topic is um, dedicated towards solo women. So it's how to travel safe while traveling solo as a woman.